I woke up this morning uh, from a dream that had me be at my old house where I used to live with my mother. I lived there for about 20 odd years up until 2014 um, at af just after my mother died. I now have moved into a temporary, well a new, a, a different home which is now a flat um, and at the moment um, I have uh, depicted my house as being my home uh, with a heart on there because that was my home, that was where I grew up. As you can see it had a garden, it had, um, it was just a home, it was a homely home, a place where my mother and I um, just, um, we lived there for many years and there was the security that came along with that, the stability that came along with that also and of course a home filled with love and care for each other as mother and daughter. Where I'm at now in my life, uh, since moving that home, from that home, um, I'm now, um, I was homeless for a short time, classed as homeless and needing um, immediate um, emergency um, placing. So where I'm at now is I'm very grateful, grateful for. Um, I've been placed in, in a flat uh, that has kept me going for the first year since uh, losing my mother and having to being forced to leave my family home that had I had resided in for many years. Um, when I had this dream about my house that I used to live in before with my mom, my mom came into my dream and I was standing with her talking in the living room of the old house, um, and it was like. I really thought it was real, like I was actually back at home um, in the living room and I saw everything, all the furniture, all the ornaments, the conversation was flowing between my mother as if she was still alive and all of that was going on until I woke up and I realised that I was no longer in that home, I had left that home for almost two years now and I am now in this uh, apartment, this flat. And um, I got to thinking, and I was starting to compare um, how I feel now. I woke up with a feeling and a sense of, and I've been feeling recently that I feel that where I'm at now, I feel like I'm only um, here temporary. Like this place, this building, this flat is a temporary pit stop. Now we all know what a pit stop is, um, it's a place where you go and you go to fix up your car and if it's broken down or it needs a tyre changed and then you kind of, you go on about your business once it's fixed. Or you think of Formula One racing cars and like when they're driving around the, um, around the racetrack they um, have like a, some damage to their race car and then they have to have a pit stop to kind of um make sure like a temporary pit stop before the driver goes off again on the round around the track so that's how i feel about where i am right now although i'm very grateful and that i'm no longer homeless i don't feel the sense of home like i did um in the home that i grew up in for 20 odd years that homely feeling of stability uh, the home filled with warm love and family. I no longer feel that way, um, that protection, that safety, that stability. And it's very horrible. So when I woke up from my dream, um, where I felt that stability, that warmth, that love, um, and it felt like stable, it didn't feel like a, a pit stop. Uh, and that's how you feel when you when you are in a in a homely home, and uh, you're with your family. But now I reside here in my flat that I was um, um, blessed with. But within me internally, I still haven't adjusted to the change from moving from a home of stability to moving into a place that I feel 
is like a pit stop, a temporary pit stop. And I don't know how to kind of deal with this kind of emotion. Um, I know the common thing would be to just accept it. This is where you are. Deal with it. But again, remember, I'm mourning, I'm grieving. And so I'm going through a lot of transition, a lot of evolving and a lot of feelings of, well, I I kind of feel uneasy, unsettled where I am. Again, I haven't made any roots here, whereas this first this this first picture here, uh, the family home where my father also lived for a time as well, we started that and we grew roots here. We grew roots in this family home. It was a fresh new build. It was a new block, and nobody else had lived in this house before when we moved into the family home because it was new. It was fresh, so only we we built our we we grew our roots there. Um, for many years. Here, I feel it's um, others have previously lived in this building before, in this particular apartment before me. And again, because I'm a sensitive cancer, I'm an indigo. So again, I still kind of feel energy residues that don't sit well with me um, within this flat that I call a temporary flat, a pit stop. So that also doesn't sit well with me um, because I also feel that um, I um, cannot make my roots here. I can't form a family here and I don't want to, basically. I don't want to. So I'm having to deal with feeling stuck, feeling like, well, I want to get out of this apartment and be able to have a fresh new home that um, I know I can grow roots from, grow roots in, and be able to start my family and really make this home my own. Uh, because at the moment, this where I am now doesn't feel like a home, like this picture does. Um, like, like I said, this photo, we grew our roots here. I grew up in this place from the age of, kind of, the age of about five or six, no, the age of like four or five or something like that, and up until the age of my mid-twenties, until my mother died and I was forced to move and, and for a time period getting homeless. Um, and then here, being blessed with an apartment, so I'm not homeless anymore, um, but being left to deal with uh, feelings that I... Um, um, coming to terms with, or trying my best to come to terms with, uh, but feeling at the same time that where I am now is only a temporary pit stop rather than a home. So, uh, yeah, that's what I'm actually going through. And that dream really cemented, really cemented the fact that um, uh, these feelings. And also another funny thing when I woke up was I had a, after that, within that dream, after that kind of segment of being transported back into my family home with my mother, um, after that, um, an image of the lion's gate, so a lion's head, like lion's gate portal of 8-8, eight, eight, kind of the lion, that vision appeared, and then straight after that, a falcon appeared, or an eagle an eagle or a falcon, right after the vision of me being back in the family home, talking to my mother, being in the living room, then seeing the lion's gate, and then seeing the falcon or an eagle. So I don't really know what seeing the lion's gate or a lion's head of the lion's gate, the universe and the stars and everything amidst the lion. I don't know what that means. And I also don't know what seeing a kind of a strong eagle falcon bird also within this straight after so i don't know what that means um within my dream if anybody else knows any dream interpretations of meanings of what seeing the lion's gate and with the universe and then seeing the falcon or the eagle um what that means straight after the vision 
uh, of being in my the family home where I had grown my roots with with my mother and with my father that I no longer live in now so yeah I just wanted to come on um a little bit long-winded but again I just wanted to express myself and um if this helps anybody I don't know but um yeah I just wanted to document how I'm feeling and just let you know that I'm feeling a little bit like I just want to I feel restless I feel restless, like I'm trying to make changes, I'm trying to do things differently now, uh, different than what's ever done before within the family, um, as regarding, you know, I'm trying to get my business off the ground and things like that, and uh, really become self-employed, start a spiritually based self-employed business, as well as doing self-help and um, providing support services for people, and yeah, so I feel... Um, at the moment um, I'm in a temporary pit stop and yeah I'll just give you a, a, a wider view of these pictures of what I drew this morning after my dream okay thanks for watching